All the way back in 2013, I conducted two independent research studies into the genetics of eye color, on the basis of which I have coded my eye color predictor within Trade Predictor. In this video, we will review and analyze the results of the second research study, which is the research study I conducted in August of 2023 with 592 people, which were all of Eurasian ancestry. Not a single individual in that study was of Sub-Saharan African descent. When I present this information, I intend to start a discussion and present certain facts about the genetics of eye color. I used snipper trees tools for statistical analysis on my Excel dataset to generate the information used for this video. Now, starting from the top, looking at the statistics, the four variants that show the highest divergence are all in the HERC2 region, which is consistent with what we know about the genetics and inheritance of eye color. What is a little bit surprising is that the fifth um, SNP that shows fifth highest divergence is actually in the TIRP1 region. Uh, and there is a couple of other SNPs that show high divergence that are not in the HERC2 region, specifically variants in the SLC45A2 region, which other studies have linked to the genetics of skin color and hair color. Additionally, although HRS Plex uses blue eye haplotype 4 in their classification systems for eye color, it is actually the variant with some of the lowest divergence among the list of variants that my study focused on. I compiled a chart of 15 variants with the highest divergence and organized them by genes they fall into. Here's the chart. Definitely very interesting to observe that. Regarding the success rate of prediction of eye color on the basis of this statistical data, the success rate is highest for people whose eye color is blue, dark brown, or regular brown, and lowest for people whose eye color is green, hazel, or blue with a neighbor center. Now, we have to consider that for people whose eye color is blue with a neighbor center, green or hazel, in the case of error, the predicted eye color was usually one of those three categories because there is generally quite a lot of genetic overlap between the three categories. Hazel eyes, green eyes, and blue eyes with a neighbor center generally have a lot of overlap. And we will talk about that in a couple seconds. I built two 2 DPCA charts on the basis of classification success scores. Here they are. Observe, maybe pause the video, but here's the two 2 DPCA charts. And we'll move on now. Now, regarding the pattern of inheritance for variants in HERC2, it has been said before that the brown eye color variants are dominant over the blue eye color ones. But that is not what we see with my data, because we see a very strong distinction between individuals who have AG genotype in the most predictive variant for eye color versus individuals with AA genotype. And the data for that I will show right now on the screen. So there's going to be two pie charts. The first pie chart is individuals with AA genotype, and the second pie chart is individuals with AG genotype. There is very strong in, uh, distinction between the two pie charts which suggests that the two genotypes are not identical in the way they are expressed, which means that the dark color variant is not dominant over the light color variant. 